it's Victoria for Slurp Vision. I'm here at Sip Smith Distillery. You'd never guess it, we're in a very residential street in southwest London actually, but we're about to meet the owner of Sip Smith and learn all about how gin and vodka are made and taste their delicious spirits. Smith and very very nice to meet you and, and see what Sip Smith is all about on the inside and I love this kind of boutique feel here. Can you tell us a little bit about you know the setup and what brought you here? Absolutely well we're, we're in West London in a small residential yeah. street and this is how you would have found gin distilleries in the late 1700s, 1800s. So, you know, when you walk in and see this, this is a wonderful reflection of what once would have been. And that's exactly what Sipsmith stands for. What we try to do is be, uh, stick to very traditional, authentic methods of distillation, which we'll talk about. Um, and so everything that we do is handcrafted in really, really small batches. Um, Can you tell us also about the name and, and the label? They're so beautiful and mm. eye-catching. Yeah, well, the, the name Sipsmith comes from my business partner's father, who's a very famous silversmith. And he said, as we were struggling for names, uh, that don't we have the same values as a smith? And that you take raw materials and you, you craft them into something intrinsically more valuable. And so the wonderful English family name Smith um, we decided to put the word sip in front of it in the same way you have goldsmith, silversmith, and blacksmith. Sip to us was a word that was all about quality, about treasuring, about lingering. Uh, and so Sipsmith was born. We've got a swan on the label, and that's because the, the spur at the top of the distillery is actually called a swan's neck. Okay. And the copper on the label is there to reflect um, and that's the benefit. actual copper. It is actually yeah. real copper leaving. It is all about the copper that we use, and copper is essential in distillation. Mm -hmm. So um, and it's all hand waxed and a very strong reflection of how products would have been found back in the day. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you can hear the sound. This is distillation happening right as we speak. Can you kind of walk us through what actually happens you know, during gin production and vodka production? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we always make the vodka first. Mm -hmm. uh, and we start with a wonderful English barley as our base. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a, it's a distillate that's been twice distilled, and we distill it two, twi twice further here. Uh, the copper works its magic, and alcohol has a boiling point of 78 degrees. So distillation is about concentration. It's about converting something from that liquid state to a vapor state, condensing it, and capturing that spirit. And that spirit is purer than the spirit that you, you, you converted from the state originally. So it, it, it's all about uh, quality, in reduction and, and concentration. Mm -hmm. And so that's how the vodka is made. And mm. what about gin? Well, gin, in a nutshell, we basically take the vodka and we distill that. And we have 10 botanicals uh, that, that distill with it. So you can't be a gin without juniper. Uh, and we have uh, coriander seed and orange and lemon peel, orris root, licorice root, etc., etc. Yeah. And we macerate those, which means by resting it in the spirit. 14 hours and then distill it over very slowly. Um, and we really take that. all those beautiful kind of rolls. Absolutely, it's amazing. We get this wonderful bouquet and these flavors just come through. We're one of the only gins that don't make a concentrate. In other words, we don't add alcohol to it after the distillate. This is a very old school way of making it. So you put exactly the right amount of botanicals, which is why we have the batch number here. Mm. And it's actually our most visited page on the website. It celebrates the fact that every batch may be slightly different than the last, but we celebrate that. We don't blend them together. So it's, it's a really special way of making it. Excellent. And how long does it take to make a gin or a vodka? Um, a gin, but it takes about a day, about, about eight to nine hours to, to, to do each. Um, and uh, then we rest it for two to three weeks, uh, and then we blend it, put it in the batch tanks, and we send it off to be bottled. Fantastic. Well, I'm really looking forward to tasting these mm. with you. And please click on the bottles that you see for an individual tasting review by Sam and myself. Wonderful.